In this video, we are going to be moving on to the next binding contract money making method, and that is the water fiends. So if you like AFK money making methods, this method is for you. So make sure you stay tuned, but let's dive in. For this method, the requirements are pretty low. You're going to need 50 summoning just so you can be able to capture the souls inside of the binding contract and use the water fiend binding contract. Also, you're going to need the Dagon by mystery completed, which does require 68 archaeology. As for the recommended, I do recommend 90 combat, which we're going to be using necromancy in this method today. But you can also get away with doing 80 combat. 90 combat just makes it a lot faster so you can make more profit. I would also highly recommend having the restocking perk for any cannon when you do any kind of AFK method, just because it, you could just restock it. You don't have to worry about clicking on your cannon. But again, it's not a highly recommended thing here. You can always bring some aggro overloads or some aggro pots just in general. Doing this method, you're going to be looking at about 62 mil GP per hour after all of your expenses. For something that's AFK, it is perfection now you're also going to be looking at about 400,000 xp per hour for your constitution and about 1.1 million xp per hour with necromancy which is nuts as for the gear we are going to be running with the tier 90 in this setup again you can run with the tier 80 these guys don't hit hard and they don't have much life points so we're going to be running with the tier 90 death dealer set just so we have that five percent chance of being able to put on a death mark we also have the vampirism aura which will help us stay alive through this method because you don't really need to do too much zuck cape i have the zuck cape on yes i do but you can also get away with the reef walker cape if you have it if not any cape will actually do here we will also be running with the blood fury amulet we have the reaver ring on here you can bring the luck of the dwarves or any kind of luck enhancers since they are a slayer creature that are above level 80. i do have a grasping rune pouch inside of my slot item it's just because of a prayer bonus just because i don't have the upgraded nexus i am running with the tier 90 weapons just to show you guys that you don't need the tier 95s and you'll also see within the kills that even tier 80 could easily do this i also have the scripture of when book just again for the stat bonuses i don't even use it during this method as for the inventory, pretty simple. I have a full restore. We don't use it. We actually don't use any prayers during this method as well. I have my nexus with all of my necromancy runes in it. Uh, you're going to need a lot more note paper. This is just a sample inventory for you guys, but bring your magic note papers for all of your binding contracts. You're going to bring your cannon, your cannon balls, your charm in them since they do drop a lot of charms, your spring cleaner, and any kind of gem bag because they do drop a little bit of gems and your binding contracts which are the most important for your inventory now before getting into the actual method first off you have to do the agonizing part of making your binding contracts now with this method i'm about to tell you you can make about 700 binding contracts in about 20 minutes so with this method all you have to do is you go to taverly you bring all of the materials you bring your pouches your blue charms your spirit shards your hellfire metal and your blood of orcus once you get over to the obelisk, there will be a trader there called Majestics. What you're going to do is you're going to take your Blood of Orcus and your Hellfire Metal, and you're going to sell little by little to the trader in the store. Now, I say little by little because for as long as your materials sit inside of the trader's store, it starts to deteriorate. So you'll notice that I have 1,400 of each Hellfire Metal and Blood of Orcus, and at the end, I only make about 682 binding contracts. So over time, it starts to dis disappear from the store. Now, the spot that we are going to be going to is in the wilderness, but again, the wilderness is not a scary place anymore. So to get there pretty quickly, you can either go to the Fort Forenthly Lodestone, run up north through your own gate or jump over a wall and then you're just going to run northwest past all of the zombies right up here next to the water and you'll see a little pathway where all of the water fiends are at you're just going to run there another way you can also get there if you're higher level you can use your dungeoneering cape and teleport to the calgarian demon resource dungeon and you're just going to run south you're going to run through the little gateway that the guy tells you be careful 
Are you sure you want to go through it? Yes. You run around, you'll see the water fiends right on the other side of the water. You just run around the boat right to the spot and you just get to work. Or you can also go to the Damon Hine dig site or Damon Hine itself and just run south and it will take you right to the same entrance into the wilderness that you just saw us run through. Before we fully dive into the method, I'd like to point out that 96% of you are not subbed to the channel. Maybe you tried subbing before, maybe you misclicked it. Go back down, double check to see if you hit it. If not, make sure to hit it. It does help out with making content for the channel for the future. It is free and it is probably the most appreciative thing that you can give to me at the moment. But with that being said, let's get back into the method. So when you get into the water fiend area, you're going to go over, you're going to lay down a cannon, you're going to fill it with your cannonballs, you're going to turn on your vampirism aura, and then you're going to let everything else work together. You don't need to use any type of prayers at all with this method since they don't hit very hard, and you can take them out fairly quickly. As for the Revo Bar, it's going to be pretty simple. You're going to use Conjure Army. You're going to mainly want to have your ghost out there for your healing, but everything else does help with your DPS. Followed up by Death Skulls. This is where the Zuck Cape plays into effect. You don't need the Zuck Cape. It's there for the extra damage, all the AoE for bouncing all across the Water Fiends. After that, we do have Soul Strike, so it's another AoE ability. So we have Soul Sap behind that, so we can cast that. Touch of Death is followed up just as a filler spot, and then we have Sacrifice for a little extra HP regeneration throughout the fighting. Although this method is AFKable, you do want to keep an eye on your inventory, so if it's filled up with binding contracts, you're going to want to make sure you know all of them as soon as possible, because once it is full, then you are losing on chances of gaining binding contracts. What you can also do is you can augment one of your armor pieces and then you can throw on scavenging. Now I only have scavenging 3 because scavenging 4 seems like it's nearly impossible to find. But what scavenging does, it does help you find invention materials as you are killing your enemies. And that is a giant shout out to Jacob Zymanic who has pointed that out in a previous video. So if you guys are also interested in comments being shown on videos, make sure you leave a comment down below. Now, what you guys have probably been waiting for, the profits. So I did a 10 minute test run by just killing water fiends for the binding contracts. In the end, I came up with about 295 binding contracts within 10 minutes. Now, that 10 minutes does equate to about 40.6 million GP. So to equate everything into one hour, you gotta think that you have to make the binding contracts. For this method, you need tons and tons of binding contracts. So it's gonna take up a good bit of time. So within an hour, about 30 minutes is gonna be about you making the binding contracts. And the other 30 minutes is of course you going out, killing the water fiends and collecting the binding contracts with their souls in. At the end of the day, you're gonna be looking at about 120 million GP in just the binding contracts. And then you have to take in all of your expenses. So the Blood of Orcus and the Hellfire Metals are probably going to be your most expensive thing unless you are going out and getting them yourself. So the Blood of Orcus and the Hellfire Metals, if you are buying them from the GE, will cost around 64 million GP. Then you have to take into account of all of your cannons that you are using. And if you're running with tier 80, so maybe you're a lower level and you're running around with some Elder Overloads or just Overloads just in general, or maybe you have an EOF on because you just don't trust the process, then you have to take into effect of all your expenses that you are putting together. After my 10 minute run and all of my expenses equaled together, I'm looking at about 62.3 million GP per hour. Which is pretty insane to think about for something that is this AFKable besides the initial binding contract making. So if you guys go ahead and you are doing this method, please let me know down in the comments how it has gone for you. But that does come to the end of this video. If you guys found anything useful, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button for future content of Money Makers and Novice PVM, and which is coming soon. But until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe. See ya.